Hey guys, I wanted to make a guide on something to help you make some gold early on in the game and maybe a nice habit or two to get yourself into early on while gold is still really valuable and is worth more blue crystals on the market right now. Now in real life, I save money by committing tax fraud and by living moss with Taco Bell's value menu, but in Lost Ark, your best way to save money is to use alts. I'm sure everyone is sick of hearing about alts by now, but this method actually works better the more alts you have, so maybe you've used both your power passes up, or you've used your knowledge transfer to get a couple characters up to level 50, but it's important to get a few alts and to get them up to item level 340. That's because at item level 340 you'll have access to the first two abyssal dungeons. Now you can do both of these first two, but each of these can only be done once per week, but this is per character, so you understand why having more alts is better for something like this. Abyssal Dungeons give you gold here for completing them. Now, there is a weekly gold limit, so you can only get the gold from doing these six times a week, so you can't just make nine alts and just keep doing this continuously. Now, you can expect about 80 gold per dungeon here, especially early on, but there's another great way to earn gold from these, and it's due to the rewards that they drop. Abyssal Dungeons also drop blue engraving books, which can be sold on the auction house for a good bit of gold. Blue class engraving books sell for a little over 100 gold each, so making about 250 gold on average per dungeon run if you manage to drop one of these is a pretty sweet deal early on especially considering this is per character and doing this doesn't take very long at all. One other way alts can make you a good bit of money is through Chaos Dungeons and Guardian Raids. Both of these are going to drop Guardian Stones, Destruction Stones, and Leap Stones, all of which can be sold on the market. You can sell all of these upgrade materials if you don't mind leaving your alt at level 340 for a while, which is something I would actually recommend for reasons I'll explain in a bit. Now I'm not telling you to just sell all of your upgrade materials away, but if you're fine with leaving your alts at 340 and having your main just upgrade themselves for a little while, then go ahead. I'll let you know how much you can expect to gain per day if you do want to sell those upgrade materials. By doing my daily guardian raids and chaos dungeons without any kind of rest bonus going on, I got 982 guardian stone fragments, 267 destruction stones, and 16 leap stones, all of which can be traded over to my main for use or sold on the market. Those guardian stones would sell for a total of 300 gold, the destruction stones would get me a little more than 200 gold, and the leap stones would sell for a nice 288 gold. All in all, I'm looking at about 800 gold for under 30 minutes of work, which is pretty sweet for this early on in the game. If you are stockpiling any real amounts of gold, I would recommend turning it into blue crystals. Blue crystals are going to be worth more and more gold by the day, so if you want to, you can invest all of your gold into blue crystals, and then way down the line, you can sell those blue crystals back for way more gold than you initially put in. You could also just hold on to those blue crystals for any stuff in the shop. Now, the reason I say leveling your alts beyond level 340 is kind of a waste of time is that once you've gotten at least one character to item level 802, which is what you should be rushing to get your main to as quick as possible, you'll unlock a new research in your island stronghold that you should immediately start on. This will permanently reduce the cost of all tier 1 upgrades by 20%, and it'll also give all tier 1 upgrades a 20% higher chance to succeed. At that point, you can start leveling up all of your alts up to tier 2. Maybe you've got a big stockpile of upgrade materials at this point, or maybe you've been selling them all on the market. You'll unlock a similar research for all tier 2 upgrades once you, again, get a character high enough item level, so just rinse and repeat this process up to tier 2 and tier 3. It's a great way to save a lot of upgrade materials, and a great way to prevent yourself from failing on a thousand upgrades. Hopefully this helped out you greedy individuals with a ton of alts, and if it did, be sure to subscribe. Love you guys. See you in the next one.